what what do you say to the argument that is made in some very i wouldn't even say quarters uh but some in <laughs> maybe some eighths uh <laughs> that um the democrats should have helped out mccarthy with their votes um Andrew because Yang said that yesterday, by the way. Of, of course. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and, and so did, like, you know, uh, Bill Sher mm -hmm. and uh, Matt Lewis and, you know, sort of like the, yeah. the, the sort of the professional centrist uh, sort of like coalition. Um, the, the Republicans are mad at the um, uh, problem solvers. But, <laughs> but uh, w what's your take on that? Like, I yeah. mean, if, if the government shutdown is inevitable, um, What's your take on that? Well, I, I think you already sort of said this, but I think if you if we if we keep McCarthy, that's that's no guarantee we're gonna we're gonna avoid the shutdown. That's really no guarantee we're gonna avoid the shutdown if we keep McCarthy. We're still heading for the same sort of climax. If anything, uh, it, it makes it maybe even more likely because he's now has to show his conservative bona fides yeah. having been saved by the Democrats. Having been saved by the Democrats. Exactly. Exactly. So he's got even more to prove in that scenario. And there's uh, more leverage against him, too, because of that damn motion to vacate. So that yep. you, anyway. Gates could have yeah. keep, kept bringing kept, it kept up over and over. Yep, yep, just yep, kept, yep. Yeah, could have just kept doing it. And and so like that's just one sort of argument I think you can just put aside. But the you know, in, in terms of the. Uh, is it the responsibility of Democrats to to you know be the uh, to be the the bigger party to be the the grownups? I mean, we, you know, we uh, we spend a lot of time. We don't spend a lot of time, but people in the media spend a lot of time worrying about all of these poor, poor, like moderate Republicans who uh, can't you know get back control of their party. But it's kind of like the the. <clears throat> The argument should be put on them, like why they are not just joining with Democrats to support, again, a moderate Democratic speaker. Like that would just be the logical thing to do. Yes. It would really just be the completely coherent and logical thing to do if they have a problem with how the Republican majority is governing right now is is like cross the aisle. And like there are plenty, plenty of conservative and moderate Democrats to choose from if if what if you want to put your country first above party. I mean, there are, you know, I don't know, is it 15, 18 of these, uh, you know, uh, Republicans who come from like, uh, you know, sort of Biden districts, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Uh, all it takes is five of them. Exactly. So, yes, yeah, to just vote a for Hakeem Jeffries. To vote yeah. for Hakeem Jeffries, uh, just a couple of them. And that's all it would take. And, um, and, and they could do that. And also, the amazing thing is that Kevin McCarthy is not held to account for negotiating, not negotiating yeah. with the Democrats. I mean, yeah. I think like, but, but put aside like that reflexive and it's sort of fascinating, right? Because people like you and I who've been doing this for a long time, we're sort of waiting to wonder if the press, the Washington press would return to mm -hmm. the sort of the, 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 the mean, if you will, yeah. and sort of like create this posture of Democrats job is to save Republicans from themselves. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it, it really does seem to have snapped back in a, in, in a big way uh, in, in that regard, because Kevin McCarthy could have negotiated with the Democrats. Kevin McCarthy could have been a bipartisan hero. He easily could have. And he could have. And that's the thing, too. If, it, it's, if he had wanted to find a way out of this, that would have again, it would have made him incredibly popular in that segment of the press, like he could have negotiated a, a sort of bipartisan solution for his own problem. But uh, we've seen this with Republican political infighting for years and years and years now, like they're not expected to or required to like do that kind of bipartisan option. Um, they're always sort of, it's always treated as totally understandable that they have to negotiate with hostage takers on the far right and not, and not just sort of throw them overboard. And, and, and part of that has to do with what we basically said at the beginning was the Republican Party fundamentally has no interest in governing anyways. Mm -hmm. And so they don't, it is not, um, it is not a, a, um, well, that's, a, yeah, that's, it's not incumbent upon them to do anything that is helpful because that's their agenda, except we don't hear the same people who sort of put the responsibility on the Democrats because they want to govern full throatedly or even hint at the idea that Republicans are there just to prevent 
the functioning of government. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the, that's the, the asymmetry there. I mean, if there was like truth telling by, I don't know, you know, pick your New York Times reporter or whomever it is of like Republicans want to obstruct uh, government and Democrats don't. They want to do stuff for people. That's why they have more of an obligation. If it was framed yeah. in that way, at least there would be an opportunity to for, for voters to respond in that way. Well, that's that's because that's it's funny because that is the premise that that's the premise that underlies a lot of the analysis. But it's not just it's not just spoken aloud in those terms, because I think you're totally right, because um, <clears throat> if you made it a lot clearer in those terms, it would be clearer for voters <clears throat> what they're voting for. But the premise is that, like, um, well, because Democrats because you guys have decided you actually want things to function. Um, you have to be held solely responsible for whether or not things function, which it's a it's a it's a raw deal, right? But like you're the party of of things broadly working. So if anything goes wrong, it's because you didn't try hard enough to make it work. But the other party, if you are the party of breaking shit, then like obviously you can't be held responsible for your own actions when you break everything. But they never articulate that second part. Exactly. Yes. <laughs>